Hi, this is David McCann for WebDNG. The new version of Advanced Custom Fields was just released, and it has in it the ability to migrate from CPT UI automatically. So I'm going to give that a try in this video, and we'll see how it goes. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. I have just recently taken a backup on this site, so if things don't go well, I'll be able to revert so I'm not worried about that. And let's just take a look at what I have here. I have ACF Pro version 607, and then it's telling me that the new 6.1 one is available to update. And I also have custom post type UI. And this is what I use to create the custom post types and the taxonomies. Let's look and see what we have here. I have three custom post types newsletters, extensions, and news. And then for taxonomies, I have two, products and issues. So let's see how it goes now. I'm going to go and update now to the latest version. Okay, it updated. And let's go to custom fields. And now after the upgrade, we also have post types and taxonomies and tools. I'm gonna do a video looking at this in more depth, but right now what I wanted to show you is we have this option to import custom post types and taxonomies registered with custom post type UI and manage them with ACF. So we're gonna be able to do away with custom post type UI if this works. Okay, import from custom post type UI, post types and taxonomies. Here we go, fingers crossed. Imported five items from custom post type UI. Newsletters, extension, news, products, and issues. The custom post type UI plugin can be deactivated. Well, just before I disable custom post type UI, Let's look here. So we have extensions, news, and newsletters. Now under posts, I have a custom taxonomy products. News, it has issues and products. And then newsletter doesn't have a taxonomy. So now let's deactivate this. And let's see. So now posts does still have products, so that's good. News has issues, but not products. So when the taxonomy was assigned to two post types, it didn't add it. Let's see if we can go and fix that. Products, here it says posts and news. So there's posts and news. Just shows issues here, let's refresh. Let's go and edit. Uh, see here it just shows one. Okay, so we want news also. Let's save that. Just gonna refresh here. And now for news, now we have them both. Okay, so there was a manual step there. That's probably something I'll need to report as a small issue in their migration process. Okay, now I did this with ACF Pro, and you're probably wondering, does the free version of ACF also have this migration process built in? So if we go to the WordPress plugin directory and find ACF, and we look at the development change log, we see for 6.1.0, it now has the ability to register custom post types and taxonomies. It also has support now for PHP 8.1 and 8.2, so that's good. And there was a small security fix as well. So good reasons to upgrade to the latest version of ACF. So I just wanted to show you that they were able to add a migration step into the latest version of ACF. It's nice we're going to be able to remove an extra plugin. 
Hope you found this video useful. I have other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources on the WebTNG website. Thank you for watching.